Now a little lovin' in the oven, if you will, in Grundy County for business that is 110 years old and still going strong. The Dutch Made Bakery in Tracy City celebrated its birthday, and News Channel 9's John Madewell was there for the festivities. John. Well, Latricia and Kim, this party was for the state's oldest family-owned bakery. The celebration was a welcome to the future and a salute to the past. Happy birthday to you. 110 candles burned for Tracy City's Dutch Made Bakery. Each flame represents years of history. Like this mixer from 1928, used only for fruitcakes. But this World War II era mixer is still a workhorse used daily. So I felt like 110, for us, that was really important, too, that we need to celebrate it and uh, because this is part of real rural America, hometown, and, and I just think it's really important. The bakery dates back to 1902 when it was Bagenstoss Bakery. Master Chef John Bagenstoss moved here from Switzerland to the Swiss colony of Scrutley Lager. He and his wife started baking cookies there, then opened this bakery. His granddaughter, Martha Bagenstoss Lee, is proud of her legacy. And they made substantial efforts because they were German-speaking when they came here from Switzerland. And it was hard to be German-speaking through World War I and World War II. The women working in the bakery suggested a name change to Dutch Made Bakery, and it stuck. So have the recipes, with new ones added in. So what we did was we tweaked them. We took the, um, instead of adding sugar, we add honey. Instead of adding shortening, we add olive oil. Throw in some rosemary, and you've got rosemary and olive oil. To give you another idea of the rich history here, this oven was shipped in from Germany in 1920. Now, it's not in use, but it still runs. And Dutch made hand rolls each and every loaf, but one rises above all others. In the oven right now is salt rise. That's our number one selling bread. We sell more salt rise than we do any other kind of bread. We are one of five companies left in America that still make salt rise. Now, Cindy Day bought the bakery in 2005 after it had been closed for 18 months. Now, she continues the family tradition. Her mother, aunt, and four children all work in the bakery. And the Bagenstoss family told her if anyone asks if she is part of the family, she said, they said, tell them that you are adopted. 